I will uh, present this morning um, the, an update about the, the TC. And uh, first of all, uh, we, the, the plan was to present this update with Jean Parpaillon that you probably know all of you. Uh, for some personal reasons, uh, Jean couldn't make it today to the conference, unfortunately. Uh, but we had fruitful discussions together and also with Cedric, uh, thanks to which we came up with this update that I will present you. I will start with the key um, specificities of uh, the OW2 Technology Council, which is, as, as you know, a key component of the OW2 picture, as uh, Cedric also emphasized. Um, but, well, this is work in progress and uh, we can discuss it uh, right afterwards and uh, during the, the next days. From what we understand, the, 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 there are three specificities compared to what uh, the, the other major uh, organi worldwide organizations that we like to compare with, that is the Eclipse Foundation, the Apache Foundation, and the uh, Linux Foundation. What are these specificities? The first one is that we put a very strong focus on quality management. The second one is that we have also specific uh, market priorities, cloud, big data, privacy and security, and future internet. So it's a very broad scope. And the third item that we can mention is that we have uh, an active collaboration with China that started uh, 10 years ago, something like this, uh, which is something very uh, promising uh, in the sense that China is extremely active with uh, open source in general and uh, quality open source in particular. That being said, uh, what did we do last, this year? Uh, Cedric uh, said a word already about this, about the new projects. So we have Artist and Passage, which joined the code base. We have uh, two projects being in acceptance stage at the Technology Council, that is MXS uh, Workflow, a German, uh, pro I mean, a project backed by a German company. So it has its own uh, business model, it's, uh, it's really interesting. And the second one as well, Prelude, uh, a, a security um, engine backed by uh, CS. And the two of them are in good way to make it for, the, for, for joining very soon the, the code base. So it's very good news. And we have in the process of getting s submitted uh, another a very promising project about storage, OpenIO, backed by a French company. Other achievements this year, first of all, infrastructure management, on which we worked together not only with Martin, but also with members of the community, and especially Clément, who, Clément Udo, the, one of the authors of uh, Le Manel d'APNG, who really helped us tremendously in setting up an, an identity management infrastructure for all of you to uh, log on and use the OW2 services more easily uh, through uh, an online secure identity. The next step will be access management improvements. In this topic, uh, let me mention that uh, it's, I think, a symbolic uh, achievement. Uh, Beside being a technical one, we have now uh, an object ID at the IANA, the, uh, the, the, the international organization of uh, named, um, I'm not sure the, the, the full acronym, but they manage the, 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 the IDs for, uh, for directories. So we, ha we have an ID there for W2 since a few weeks, actually. We also planned a new version of a W2 stack, the OpenStack cloud at W2 meant to ease the uh, testing, the deployment, and the demonstration of W2 projects. We have upgraded XWiki to not exactly yet the latest version, but we're getting very close to it. 
uh, and that this is what has permitted the upgrade of the website. We have a new Technology Council Wiki, an X Wiki instance, and we also have registered uh, Open uh, OW2 at OpenHub, the Black Duck software uh, platform for uh, getting external uh, metrics. Second uh, other achievement, the programming contest this year, which was mostly uh, gathering, uh, well, we had mostly Chinese students plus an Indian team, but which uh, dropped out uh, in the meantime. Uh, we, have four, we had 14 teams, and I'd like to emphasize that we had four prizes uh, given to Trusty, which is a very interesting uh, project in China, uh, Actually, uh, their idea is to give the students uh, a forge, an open source forge, which is called Trusty, where they publish their student uh, projects. So I'm not sure how exactly it works in France. I mean, uh, it's a question. I'm not sure how it works in the universities. Where do the students are invited to publish their code? Is it on GitHub? Is it, but I, I'm not aware of a national initiative like this one, which not only hosts the code, but also promotes good practices around quality, around licensing, around communication. Uh, so I think this is something we really should uh, in, uh, get inspiration from. And, and not only inspiration, but also technical breaks as they are creating plugins for uh, quality uh, assessment directly in the Forge. And uh, as you may know, we had yesterday a small a cloud plot fest, but that was a good occasion to meet our friends from TTA, uh, Thomas and Julian, uh, for um, working on cloud interoperability. And uh, obviously, it's it's a burgeoning product. It's a, I mean, the, um, it's, it's it's an innovative initiative. I think we really should have new ones in the future with more developers, of course. Let me finish with the key challenges that we identified for next year for the Technology Council. I think we can tell we have three main challenges, one about community, another about quality, and last one about more events. Uh, I will start with the, the quality one. Um, the Technology Council today is mainly a group of project leaders. Uh, what we would like to propose is to formalize work groups within this uh, technology council that will focus on key topics that matter to OW2. The first one is quality in general. The second one would be uh, infrastructure improvement. And the third one would be, uh, uh, it's open to other ones, but the third one will be for the next programming contest. This year we started working closely with Alex and Joris in particular, even though they had a, a, a team that dropped out, but at least the process for uh, getting new teams aboard, especially European ones, for evaluating the work and um, for getting the work uh, really reused in AW2 project is actually uh, quite a lot of work and we would need a small dedicated work group on this within the TC who would be ready to hire more students to follow up with their work, to evaluate it, and to give the, the awards. The, the, the quality work group would have, I will talk about this later in greater details, but the quality work group would have in charge of evolving the OW, OW2 or open maturity model by taking into account uh, the recent changes in software infrastructure that took place in, in the last year. And uh, would also and, and the sorry the third work group would be about infrastructure and would help us like Clement started to do it would help um, Martin Olive and, and myself evolve the, the servers and the solutions for uh, delivering better services we need technical competencies there so uh, these are the challenges. Now, uh, also another one actually that is transversal is to welcome more, not only project leaders, but maybe also uh, external members of the open source community, especially researchers who have an interest in quality software management. 
uh, system administrators who know uh, about DevOps, uh, policy makers. So let's see how we can widen the group to uh, other experts who have their, have their say in open source software quality management. Thank you very much.